Today's scripture reading is from Jeremiah 23. It starts with the fifth verse. This is how it goes. The time is coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous descendant from David's line, and he will rule as a wise king. He will do what is just and right in the land. During his lifetime, Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. And his name will be the Lord is our righteousness. So the time is coming, declares the Lord, when no one will say, as the Lord lives who brought up the Israelites from the land of Egypt. Instead, they will say, as the Lord lives who brought up the descendants of the people of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands where he has banished them so that they can live in their own land. It's um, growing more and more difficult to not be cynical. When we hear stories on the news, when we um, hear the stories of our friends, it's difficult to hear the news and not be cynical about the world, really. (laughs) You know, we hear stories about corrupt regimes in Africa that um, are silencing people, who are separating people, who are refusing to care for their people. We hear about dictators who are out for power and hunger, are thirsty and hungry for that power. We hear about duplicitous politicians all over the world who will lie and steal and beg in order to be in charge, to be the one who makes decisions. And our hearts cry out really for leaderships who will deal wisely and execute justice and righteousness in the land. God promises those leaders to us in this passage. And it's easy to let our cynical part of ourselves begin to think that that type of leader isn't possible. But it also reminds us that this question is not a new question, that this is not a new problem or something that only we people who live in these days are facing. Jeremiah says that the question is one that's troubled the Israelites since the beginning of time. But Jeremiah said that we need to not be apathetic or cynical, that we were, that we are instructed to place our hope in God and trust that God is one who is committed to justice and righteousness. I heard it put this way once. It says that we people of Christ are to believe in the promises of God despite evidence and then watch the evidence change. We await the day when God's king will come in justice and righteousness. And we put one foot in front of the other and we make that righteousness happen. So we can choose to be cynical and apathetic or we can choose to do the work to bring change and hope to our people.